Yo, what's going on you guys? My name is Owen and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far. Today's video is gonna be a favorites of the year slash like favorites of quarter four of 2022. Um, since I haven't made one in a while and I love making these videos. If you aren't familiar with this video format, I'm gonna go over some of my fashion favorites, whether it be some new pickups or some items that I've been wearing consistently over the past uh, little while. And then I'm gonna hop into some entertainment favorites. I'm gonna share some movie recs, some TV show recs, and then a couple book recs for you guys. And then at the very end of the video, I'm gonna play some of my music favorites from the past little while. So yeah, I think it'll be pretty fun. Before we get into the video though, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow myself on Instagram. I've been posting a ton of real content recently. I've um, been having so much fun making like some short form video content, but it's time to give some love back to the YouTube. Um, and then follow my brand on Instagram as well. And yeah, let's hop right into some pickups. The first few items I'm gonna show you guys were all sent to me by my good friend Gizmo. Um, he's another fellow fashion YouTuber. Um, he does a lot of vlog content over in Tokyo um, and his brand Comware, I feel like exceeds most designer brands nowadays in terms of quality and from every single technical standpoint, how everything fits, the fabric choices, Gizmo's brand is on a whole other level. And when he reached out to me asking if I wanted some stuff from the new drop, I had to take him up on it. And yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys a couple pieces. So first up and definitely my most worn item that he sent me is this little piece right here. This is the Commoware Batwing Pierced Jacket. Um, in the black colorway. I believe he also did a blue colorway, but you know, I had to go with the black one. And this is such a nice fitting jacket. Um, I wore this a ton over like my winter break. Um, I brought it with me to Boston for the holidays and then also to New York. And this is like my, like pretty much the only jacket I wore on a daily basis. Um, and yeah, you guys can see some of the like more unique details about it would be the collar, how it's got two little collar peaks right there. And then it's got the, uh, I forget what type of piercing this is called, but it's got little piercings right here on one side of the collar, almost like a nose piercing. The overall shape of the jacket, sort of like a bomber jacket mixed in with a work jacket silhouette, um, which I'm a huge fan of. I feel like those are probably my two favorite jacket silhouettes. So the fact that he combined those, it's perfect for me. Um, I love this pocket shape. It's got this seam that runs down, which then becomes a pocket at the bottom. So it's got two little pockets up front. And then when you flip, or also the material, let's see, I have it pulled up right here. It's a 50% virgin wool, 39% polyester, 11% viscose blend, which is a very unique blend. I've never felt anything like this before. It's like at the same time, like rigid, but really soft. I don't really know how to explain it, but Killed it with the fabric choice. Um, and then on the inside, before I go into the back side, since that's like one of my favorite details, um, inside is lined with this quilted little uh, blue insulated lining, um, which I love that color. I love how it's not just black. I think that was a perfect little detail. Um, and then when you flip onto the back side, you've got the arm zippers. Um, which I'm not really sure from a functional standpoint what they do. I've seen photos of him like zipping all the jackets together, which is really cool. And then you've got these little back shoulder gussets for more arm articulation. Let me go ahead and grab the next item sent from Kamaware. So the next piece is a crazy one. This is one of the most unique items I have in my wardrobe, hands down. This is the Kamaware Polaris vest in the brown colorway. Um, this is a crazy, crazy, crazy silhouette. It's inspired by tactical vests, um, but with a little less of that tactical feeling, like the uh, Helmet Lang bulletproof vest is just like a bulletproof vest, but not bulletproof, so it looks really intense. This looks way less intense, in my opinion. I'm a huge fan of the silhouette and then all the little details and embellishments he's put on it. The base material is a polyamide, and I think it has like a little bit of filling. And then it's got this really cool magnetic twist closure. So you twist it in like that, and then it comes off. You can see that's what the inside of the closure looks like. Um, it's really quick and easy to use. It's like a very, very well done um, closure. Like I've never seen this on a clothing item before. I'm sure it's used other places, but 
yeah, huge fan of that. I think that's so cool rather than it just being like a normal snap, I guess. Um, and then it's got these little rivets all over, um, which kind of create this galaxy type look, which I think is where he got the name Polaris from. Um, and then it's also got one of those magnetic closures on the back side. So there's a ton of different wearability for it in terms of like how everything is layered together. Um, and then before I go into some of the other stuff, it's got little pockets up front, little hidden zipper pockets, which is really cool. So they actually close up. And then on the back, back right shoulder, it's got this little pocket right here with these Cobrax snap buttons. Had to put the Cobrax on the back pocket. That's insane, Gizmo. Um, and yeah, I'd say this piece is mainly meant to be worn over top, like a sweatshirt or jacket. I think it looks a little too bulky on just like a base layer t-shirt or like a button up shirt maybe. Um, but maybe that's just because of the size that I got. It's like a little too oversized without multiple layers underneath it. So this is great for the East Coast trip because it was so cold over there. Huge fan of this piece, really, really unique. Um, and yeah, the quality, again, is unmatched. Gizmo always kills it with comma wear. Um, I believe all this stuff is sold out, by the way. So um, maybe he'll do more colorways in the future or more iterations. But yeah, that was a Polaris vest. And then last up for the comma wear pickups, he sent over these cargos right here. These are the articulated cargos in the black colorway. Crazy, crazy silhouette. You guys might be able to see as the leg drapes down, it's got this almost like bell bottom type shape that comes from how it's sewn together and constructed. Um, like the actual base pattern isn't just a flare out. Um, it like twists and turns. So it creates a really unique shape when you wear it. Um, I'm also gonna throw in some on-body clips, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the quick details first. It's got these little adjustable pull tabs on the waistline, which is really nice. Um, and then one of my favorite details, funny enough, is actually the button closure. This is not like a standard button closure, like a shank button or snap button. This is the Cobrax special slide button. That's what the tag says on the inside. So you actually have to go to the side first and then it comes off. So you guys can see the little hook on that and how the inside of the Cobrax, hopefully that's getting picked up. But yeah, so it like goes in and then it slides across, really cool. And then it's got the little Riri zipper right there. Riri zipper on the front closure is insane gizmo. Um, and then I really like the pocket execution. It's got some little welt pockets right there instead of a standard, um, like a standard pant pocket, I guess. And then these 3D pockets with the zipper closure are insane. When you wear these pants, the pockets kind of come out a little bit. It creates an insane shape. Also on the back pockets, doesn't have a standard back pocket either. Nothing with these items are standard. It's got these cool, I think these are technically welt pockets. Eh. It's hard to tell. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that type of pocket, pocket execution is called. Um, it's got a nice high rise on it, front and back rise. So yeah, huge fan. I think these are also sold out. Um, and by the way, the materials is a 70% cotton, 30% recycled polyester with uh, Riri zippers, Cobrax slide and press snaps. Um, yeah, huge fan of this piece. Um, I've been wearing them a ton. Again, the East Coast trip was almost entirely Commaware. So, so yeah, huge thank you to Gizmo and the people over at Commaware for sending this stuff over. Um, if you haven't already, check out Commaware. Um, they're killing it. So yeah, you can probably find it in stores too. I'm pretty sure there's some online retailers that uh, have this stuff. So stay on the lookout. All right, next up for the pickups, this is a little bit of a funny one. Um, very, very niche, but it's like a vin vintage pickup if you want to call it that. It's actually almost technically vintage. I think technically vintage is 20 years old and then this is 19 now. Um, so yeah, this right here is just a little t-shirt I picked up off of eBay. Um, this is a vint or ha vintage Half-Life 2 tee. If you guys don't know, I'm a big gamer. Um, I love like my video game reference tees and stuff. And yeah, I've got like over 3000 hours on Team Fortress 2, got it in the orange box. Um, and then Half-Life 2, I've beaten it multiple times. Great game, by the way. Um, yeah, 
This came out in 2004, or Half-Life 2 came out in 2004, so I'm assuming this is from 2004. But yeah, I just got picked this up off of eBay. Um, it's got this beautifully cracked Half-Life 2 logo. Um, I love the amount of wear on this thing, which is why like it caught my eye. There's probably like plenty of Half-Life 2 tees out there. Um, this one had like perfect dimensions and also perfect level of cracking on the print. Um, the fade is really nice and yeah, the actual material is really good too. It's like a nice like heavyweight cotton. Um, just a quick little pickup I wanted to show you guys. These I showed off on the reels. These are the North Face Thermoball Traction V Mules. Um, I picked these up. I picked these up off of Essence during the little like Black Friday sale. Um, it was the Black Friday sale, and then also I got the private sale like bonus on it. So I think these were like forty-two dollars or something. Um, huge, huge discount, and these are easily one of my most worn shoes right now. Um, yeah, if you want like more in-depth info, definitely check out my reel. But yeah, it's sort of like an insulated. Uh, North Face slipper. Um, it's got the classic like uh, nupsy material and then it does have like a nice like traction sole on it. It's got the flip back which is really really nice and then the inside is so cozy. It has like a fleece lining on the inside and then because of the traction sole it's actually nice to wear outside too. Originally I got these as just a house slipper and then I just started wearing them out and about. Um, I feel like paired up with a really baggy pair of pants looks great with these and there's plenty of colors I there is another colorway. I'm thinking about getting um, To keep as a house slipper. So yeah Anyways, those are the North Face Thermoball Traction V Mules another pickup that I got fairly recently But I've already been wearing it a ton is this little number right here this is a Raph Simmons Autumn Winter 2000-2001 Confusion, a little like button up shacket type vibe. I don't really know exactly what it's called. Um, the seller didn't have any more info about it. Um, and I've just never seen this silhouette before, especially from Raph. I've been super into turtleneck collars recently. Um, many items I've been wearing have had that same detail. And the buttons actually go all the way up the neck, which is kind of cool, rather than it being like a zip. And then it has these two little button-up pockets. I will say though, these button-up pockets aren't entirely useful, maybe for like pens or pencils, but um, in terms of like a functionality standpoint, there isn't much you can do because the pocket actually comes down like that instead of really going more in. So that's, that's how big the pocket is. Like my finger is touching the very very bottom of it so i don't know what you could fit in there but it is a cool pocket shape nonetheless i like how it's angled um and then yeah sort of oversized i believe this is a size 50 which equates to like a us large so it's kind of oversized on me and i wear it more as like a top layer rather than um like a mid layer or just on its own like a button-up shirt um so yeah it does have a little bit of unique wearability for me and then on the back side uh, it's pretty simple. It does have two little pleats coming down off the shoulder and then this color is really really cool too Hopefully the camera's picking up. All right um, It's sort of like in between a gray and a green and then it does have some sun fading Again, I don't know if it's picking up. Eh, it looks like it is. It does have some sun fading, which is really cool um, And yeah, that's kind of it for the little wrap pickup this next item um, I just got in fairly recently, so it's not really a monthly favorite yet, but I've been wanting a pair of these for a while, actually. Uh, very, very unique item for my wardrobe. Um, everybody that I've shown these to has been like, why do you have these? Like, what compelled you to want these shoes? Um, I can't really say for certain, I'm just a huge fan. These are the Rick Owens Bozo tractor boots in the mohair black colorway um, with like the black sole as well yeah um i don't really know what to say <laughs> these are just a crazy pair of shoes um they're very very extra but i think that's kind of why i like them and i think because it's all black it's a little bit more toned down and a little bit more wearable for me um, I could totally see myself pairing these up with like some really baggy cargos, um, like maybe the next pair of pants I'm gonna show you guys. Um, so we'll see, but yeah, crazy, crazy pair of shoes. Um, I didn't really like the Bozo boot like silhouette in general until I saw 
there was this um, material in it. I feel like it just looks way better in this material. Um, it does have sort of like the Chelsea boot webbing on the side, little pull tab, which also has the mohair on it, which is kind of crazy. Um, and then the actual sole itself is really cool. I love like the fat teeth that it has on it. Um, it almost looks like a mouth, I'd say. And yeah, we'll see how I manage to style these. Uh, curveball pickup for sure. Let me know what you guys think about these shoes. Yeah, had to grab these, they're too cool. And then the final item before we get into some entertainment favorites is something I've just been wearing a ton recently. I got them maybe like six or seven months ago. These are a pair of M65 cargo pants that I picked up a while ago. And yeah, I've just been wearing them a ton. I really love the shape of them. Uh, and they're breaking in really nicely as well. I remember when I first got them in, I wasn't the biggest fan because the fabric was so, so rigid. It was like so stiff. It didn't have like a nice shape because the fabric was like so stiff that it would kind of like bunch out in random areas. But now that I've worn these so much and washed them and dried them so much, they're breaking in really nicely. And they do have a little bit more of like a flattering shape, I'd say. Um, but yeah, just to go over some quick details, it is just a M65 silhouette, which I will have linked down below. Um, it'll be like an Amazon affiliate link if you wanted to buy them off Amazon, which is where I got these. Um, so yeah, it does have these two little flat pockets that have these snap closures. Um, it does have like a really interesting uh, like rope type thing on the front zipper closure. Uh, this one just come undone, but it was like a nice top not before. Um, it does have like a little button right there. And then when you come down the leg, it does have like two really nice cargo pockets. I actually use on a daily basis. Um, if you have cargo pockets, just use them. <laughs> and then when you go, oh yeah, coming down the knee, it actually does have um, some knee pleats, which is kind of cool. I think it has four on each side. It might be kind of hard to tell because the fabric is like, obviously very dark, but it does have four little knee pleats. And then uh, coming down the leg, it does have a little rope that you can tie to cinch in, except my rope's been all chewed up. It doesn't actually work anymore. Uh, flipping onto the back side, it's got two little flap pockets with some snap closures, um, which are very, very useful. And then that's kind of it. Because these are so oversized on me, I think I got like a 32 by 34. So I wanted them to be intentionally oversized. Um, but because they are so oversized, I get like a nice good bit of heel bite in on a daily basis. Um, yeah, these are very chewed up. And then also, yeah, it does have waist adjusters, which is really nice. They're kind of like flooded on me, which is the look I was going for. So yeah, again, I'll have a link down below if you want to get the exact same pair as me. And also I'll get a little kickback as well since it's an Amazon affiliate link. Um, yeah, that's it for the fashion favorites. Let's move into some entertainment favorites. Moving on to some entertainment favorites. Um, one of my favorite movies of the year just recently came out. Um, came out November 18th and it is Bones and All. I'm sure you've seen the like promos for it at least or like billboards or something. It's directed by Luca Guadagnino, I believe is how you pronounce his name. It's starring Timothy Chalamet and Taylor Russell. It is a romance horror movie. Um, takes place in, I think the 80s, if I remember correctly. Um, it's a very, very good movie. I feel like it's kind of slept on. Um, I think people were going into it thinking it was gonna be one thing and it turned out to be another. Um, I kind of knew that the whole like cannibalism aspect of it was gonna be like a metaphor for like love. And um, the, re the references in the movie are so good. Like Mark Rylance's character, who is Sully in the movie. As soon as I saw him on screen, I was like, holy shit, that's just Joseph Boys. Like the styling is supposed to be Joseph Boys, who is an amazing artist. Um, I've got a few Joseph Boys books uh, on the bookcase. Um, so yeah, I thought that was, that was a really cool reference. Um, and you know, Timothy Chalamet is one of the goats. Uh, he killed it. Um, it's a really cool movie. The styling is amazing. Um, the setting is amazing. Like it's just eye candy the entire time. And I think it's really funny because uh, the director of this movie also did um, Call Me By Your Name, which is easily one of my favorite movies. Also starring Timothy Chalamet and Army Hammer. And if you've been keeping up with the Army Hammer like drama stuff, I feel like it's a 
very interesting coincidence that this movie is about cannibalism. So I don't know, take that with a grain of salt, but yeah, bones and all, highly recommend it. And then for a TV show rec, um, I highly recommend watching uh, White Lotus. And the number of people that I know like in like the fashion circle that hadn't known of White Lotus um, before like my telling them is crazy. I feel like everybody should watch White Lotus. It's really good social commentary. Um, it, there's two seasons now. The second season came out like a couple months ago and it was amazing. I think I like the second season more than the first. Um, all the characters are so, so funny. Um, and yeah, it's one of the most unique shows I've seen. The soundtrack is crazy. Um, yeah, highly recommend watching White Lotus. It's uh, an HBO show directed by Mark White. And also, that's another funny thing. People don't know who Mark White is. Like when you think, oh, Mark White, he's, he's a director of this show. I'll, put, I'll throw some photos of Mark White and you'll be like, oh, wait, I know who that is. Um, and uh, yeah, he killed it. It's seriously like one of the best shows that's come out in the past like 10 years, easily. I heard they're bringing the next season to somewhere in Asia, which will be really interesting. Um, and yeah, highly recommend checking that out. And then a couple more recommendations for you guys. I'm gonna run over these really quick. Um, highly recommend checking out Berserk. Um, I only have the first two volumes so far but it is a manga that's been out for a while. So many of the visuals in the Dark Souls franchise, like everything from, from software pretty much, uh, can almost be like linked back to these books. Um, so I highly recommend checking these out if you're a fan of the Dark Souls series, um, which I'm a huge fan of. If you're looking for a really good story to just like delve into, um, but you don't really have the time to like sit down and read a huge, huge book, I do recommend listening to Moby Dick on Audible. If you're an Audible member, it's one of their free books, so you don't have to pay for it at all, then you don't have to use your credits. Um, it is 24 hours long, and I'll throw up a picture of the version that I'm listening to. Um, yeah, it is 24 hours long, so it is kind of long, but if you're listening to it like while walking or while driving and stuff, it goes by so much faster. I'm a huge fan of nautical culture. Um, and like the movie The Lighthouse is one of my favorite movies ever and I feel like Moby Dick it just like puts me right back into that universe which is so much fun so yeah that's it for my entertainment recommendations and then last up for the video I'm gonna play you guys five or more of my favorite songs from the past little while um, I should probably do some more uh, like Somar Spotify playlists since you guys really like that um, and I feel like it just allows me to put out my music interests a little bit more rather than doing a monthly favorites every once in a while where I just give you guys a little snippet of each song. So yeah, I might do some more Spotify playlists in the future and yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy some music. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. Um, again, like the video if you haven't already. Write some comments down below. Share it with a friend. Subscribe if you're new. Um, one of the next videos that I'm gonna do, it might not be the next one, maybe the video after, is gonna be an updated tattoo tour video since I'm getting some tattoos at the end of this month. Um, so yeah, look out for that. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day. See you guys next time. Later.